the Taipei Aerospace and Defense Technology Exhibition entered its second day on Friday with a special visit by President Tsai Ing-wen. At the show, Tsai learned about the latest developments in unmanned aerial vehicles made in Taiwan. Besides inspecting the latest defense technologies, she also showed off her marksmanship shooting an XT-112 assault rifle in a simulation. President Tsai Ing-wen on Friday visited the Taipei Aerospace and Defense Technology Exhibition, now on its second day. Tsai listened attentively to explanations from vendors and visited the USA Pavilion. She also tried her hand at shooting an XT-112 assault rifle at an armament bureau developed simulation that debuted at the exhibition. The instructor next to Tsai praised her precise shooting, drawing a smile from the president. At the event, the exhibits by the Ministry of National Defense were especially popular, with a showcase of weapons developed by the National Zhongshan Institute of Science and Technology. There were also videos comparing the Taiwan-made Xiongfeng-2 and 3 missiles with the U.S.-made Harpoon anti-ship missiles. The video explains that the NCSIST Xiongfeng-2 missile and the U.S.-made harpoons are roughly similar in power, whereas the Xiongfeng-3 is significantly more powerful. The exhibition also has one-to-one -one scale models of the Xiongfeng-2 and 3. The supersonic Xiongfeng-3 missile can penetrate the hull of a ship and create holes 3 to 4 meters wide. Another highlight at the exhibition were unmanned aerial vehicles. An animation shows a swarm of UAVs loaded with cruise missiles on their way to enemy targets. Also at the exhibition were four models of the Zhenxiang drone series, showcasing the anti-radiation and decoy versions of the UAVs. We're the second country in the world to develop this kind of weapon, only after Israel. I am proud to say that this UAV model is almost 100% made in Taiwan. It's made domestically. The exhibition has attracted military enthusiasts and members of the public wanting to learn more about the latest developments in Taiwan's defenses.